Oh my goodness. Hello, everybody. Can you guys hear me all good? Because it shows that there's no volume. Are we good? Perfect. Thank you guys so, so much for joining in. I am very, very excited to do a shelf today live with you guys. It's going to be a lot of fun. So while we wait for some people to join, a little bit of Disney news for you guys. If you did not know, Disney Springs opened this week. And oh my goodness, I am so so excited about it. It looks like everything is going well. I did a whole video on it on my channel. If you guys um, would like to go check that out, I talked about all the new guidelines and stuff, and it's so, so exciting. And hopefully here soon, Disney will be announcing their opening date for the parks probably here within the next week or so. So I will definitely keep you guys posted over on my Twitter and Instagram about that. And that will be linked down below as well. And I'm just, I'm so, so excited for the parks to open. Universal announced that they are opening on June 5th. They're opening their two parks in their water park, which is just crazy. So I'm really interested to see what Disney says and what's going to happen there. So thank you all so, so much. These are my like switchable bow ears. I love how ginormous <laughs> the bow is. And I want to do a fun summer shirt today. So this shirt is from Uniqlo and they actually have that store at Disney Springs. And I thought this cute little bow would match it, little fuzzy Sully. And it's just the basic like black Mickey Mouse ears if I took this bow off so you can like make it either one. So not too much other news today for you guys. I'm going to be doing a whole other room tour video. I was filming cleaning my room. That's what I've been doing here the past few days. So I decided to save this shelf, show you guys how I do it, and then answer your questions kind of going along with collectibles, collections, if you guys have any specific questions for like setting up your display, anything like that. So I'm going to do this and answer questions here as we go. And I'm very excited to talk to you guys as well. Thank you so much. So someone asked where I got my ears. I got them at Disney World years ago. And I got some of the bows at Disneyland whenever I went in 2018. But I have not seen these since. And I thought it was such a great idea because... On our end, it's like a money saver because you just have to buy the different bows so you have a bunch of different headbands. But of course, Disney is now being like, no, we're going to sell the $30 ones so you guys can't like switch them out and all of that. So it's very, very sad, yes, that you cannot get them anymore, but I thought it was a great idea. I think they're super cute and I'm glad I was able to get some of the different bows for them as well. Um, someone said they were able to find Duffy on eBay. That's awesome. If you guys missed yesterday's video, I showed you guys my Duffy collection, which was a lot of fun. And I actually have some Duffy and Shelly Mae items I'm going to be using today. So let's just get in here to the display. So if you guys watched my last room tour video, I had all of the Tokyo Disney fun kind of spring stuff up. And now I am doing summer fun things. So you guys might be able to see here this top shelf. I made Little Mermaid. I thought that would be super fun. I love that movie. And this next shelf here is going to be like Lilo and Stitch Hawaii, like beachy themed. So I have a lot of fun items to put in there. So I'm just, I'm so, so excited for you guys to see the room tour. And oh, I don't know. I moved my whole computer. So like the keyboard's on the ground and the mouse like doesn't have a place to go. So I'm sorry I just like got behind. So someone asked what my favorite color is. My favorite color is this mint green color. I love it. Okay, and then people are starting to ask how old I am. I'm going to be doing a whole video Q&A about that here in the next like few weeks. Like early this summer, I will be answering that in a video. So 
Someone asked, when you have friends over, do they get shocked of, like, how much Disney merchandise is in my room? Yes, yes, it's it's so funny. <laughs> Anytime someone comes in, they're always like, what? <laughs> it's, it's, it's a lot of fun. I love getting to, like, show my displays to people. That's why I love doing these videos and stuff so you guys can see the different displays and items that I have. So as some questions start to come in, as some people start to join, I'm gonna start just dusting off some of these smaller items. Now, as you guys might know, I use a paintbrush to dust all of the items um, as I take them on and off because I feel like it's just a lot more like gentle on the items. It doesn't scratch them. I don't use any of like the cleaner stuff on them because I just don't want that to affect like the quality of the item. I don't want to scratch the paint or like break it in any way. And this is just like this is really, really easy to do, and then that way if there's any sort of dust, for example, like in this little donut, it can just like get it very, very nicely. So that is just one of my favorite collector hacks, and I feel like a lot of people don't really know about it, so that's why in like every single room tour video I mention it, because I think it is just fabulous. I love it. <laughs> So as I was getting all these items out, I didn't realize how much Lilo and Stitch stuff that I had. So I'm very interested to see how this display turns out. I also have a bunch of Moana stuff too, but I don't think it's all going to fit on this shelf. So that's that's going to be that's going to be great. <laughs> Someone asked where I buy my pops. Hot Topic, Target, Fox Lunch, um, Barnes and Noble. Uh, sometimes on the Funko Shop, just depending on which ones are there. Okay, so someone asked what Disney cup I am using today. I figured since we're doing like beachy theme, I found this Disney parks like pool one. Park time, very, very exciting. I have like a whole park display going on back here, but I will show all of that in the room tour video, which will be coming very, very soon. Cause I'm excited for you guys to see the whole summer display. And then I will post the video of me like cleaning my room and stuff again along with it so there's another like day in the life vlog coming very soon as well and something more recently i started doing i don't think i've mentioned it in any of my videos is i've been actually like hanging oh no i've actually been hanging up the maps and stuff like on the wall and everything just to help fill the space the space just started to feel like so empty and whenever i don't have like big items to fill the space i like doing the um, I like being able to hang these up, that way it fills it really, really nicely. So I use washi tape to hang up any of the papers, that way it doesn't rip the papers, destroy the papers, destroy the wall, the glass, the paint on the wall, whatever it may be. Someone asked if I could do a Princess and the Frog display. I don't really have any Princess and the Frog stuff. I have one Mystery Mini, and I have just two of the Vinylmations, so I cannot do that. I would love to do a Princess and the Frog display because I love that movie as well, but I don't think I will be able to since I don't have the items to, like, fill the shelf. All right, so now I take... Oh geez. I take one of the bigger dusters and I will just clean all of this. Okay, that is good to go here. 
I'm sorry, there's like stuff on the floor and things that I need to like get to put up here. So if I pop out for a second, um, that is good. Um, did I see the Mickey and Minnie Halloween Funko Pops? I did. I posted a picture on Instagram, like in my story of them, because they were so, so cute. I'm definitely hoping to pick those up as well. Someone asked if I still like Tsum Tsums and do I want to collect them in the future? So they're not releasing Tsum Tsums anymore, so probably not. I actually have some Tsum Tsums I'm going to be putting in this display because they're like summery. So like I still like them like to use for my displays, but I'm probably not going to collect any more of them. Someone asked what the average price of a popcorn bucket is. So as far as the U.S. parks go, they like range between like 18 and 25, just depending on what it does or how big it is. So I'd say the average is about $20 for a popcorn bucket. Again, it really just depends on like the size and if it has any like moving parts or I know some of them now have like lights in them. And I think that's super cool, but they're definitely starting to get more expensive. Alrighty, so now I'm going to get one of my other favorite hacks here, which is these little clear boxes. You guys might be able to see I'm using one right here for the different aerial display. So I'm going to use the lid to it for this one. It just helps give it some height, but I like how it's clear so it doesn't like distract from the display at all. And I can even put things there inside of it. That's what I did for the Little Mermaid one as well. I put the Legos inside of it. That way it's like another way to see them. And then you can also fit more stuff into the display. So I really, really love that as well. So this particular display, I do not have a popcorn bucket for that would like fit the theme that I'm doing. So this is the biggest item that I have to put in here. So I always put the biggest item in first. That way I make sure it has like enough height to it. And then I can add the pictures and stuff behind to better fill it. And then I just like to add all the little items there around it. So we're gonna grab some of the washi tape and hang up some of these cute little Lilo and Stitch pictures. These are from the Wonderground Gallery. I got this one at Disneyland. So I'm not sure like what of these prints they still have. I know sometimes they sell them on Shop Disney, but I really, really like these postcards. They're just so nice. They're great prints and they fit in like nice small frames, which is just good to like set around or use in displays like this. They're just beautiful, beautiful little pictures. So we have some of those here. I think these, are, these ones are so, so cute. Look at this little stitch one. <laughs> oh, it's so adorable. And here is the last one that I have. This adorable little stitch one, enjoying the summertime. So, so cute. All right, so another fun little hack, or you could even do this with the postcards and things. I have this bandana for the Pirates Summer Firework Voyage that they do at the Magic Kingdom. So this is like super summery as well. And I figured like Pirates, Hawaii, beach theme kind of thing. So I'm going to actually lay this underneath and that will also help to fill the space better because it makes it a little more like busy looking. And then I can also put that there underneath the clear box so everything just kind of flows together and you can actually still see the design there through it. 
the next item here I'm going to try to fit in is this Tsum Tsum Summer box. And it has Mickey and Minnie there with their, like, scuba surfing gear. This box is so adorable. All right. So maybe get some more height here to our stitch figure. I really like to put the popcorn buckets in here because they just help with like the height. If you guys missed my other like how to make a display video, it is linked down below in this live stream along with all of my other room tour videos and room cleaning videos. If you guys like to check those out here after the live stream. But I did talk a lot about in that video about how like important the height is for displays because it makes it like look fuller or maybe makes it look like you have more items just because you can like see them all kind of like scattered around. So I think that um, helps a lot. So let's see what other height I have here. I have this little Lilo and Stitch mystery mini tin and I put the little figure there on top. The stitch is very, very cute. Oh my goodness. So definitely going to help scatter some of these here around. So I, I always like to put the bigger items in first and then scatter all the little ones last. So here we have the little Shelly Mae Alani pass holder case. I love these so, so much. So I'm definitely going to try to fit little Shelly Mae in here. You may have to move some of the pictures around on the back here. So this is why the time lapses are always so long in the videos because it takes so long to like arrange stuff like I'm always moving things around until I think it looks just right. And normally during this, I'm like blasting Disney music, watching Disney Plus up on the TV up there, just because it's good to have some background noise. I would love to like play Disney music like while we all chat and things, but copyright and YouTube don't go together, so I cannot do that. Let me scroll back here to some of the questions. Um, so someone said, do I plan my Disney displays out or kind of just figure out it like as it goes to see what works? So with this particular display, I knew what my theme was. I decide my theme before I start doing anything. So my theme for June is Disney parks because they're going to be like announcing their opening here soon and because of Disney Springs opening. So I'm thinking about the parks right now and I wanted to make sure that that was included. So I have that kind of going back there. You guys can see along with some of my new Mandalorian merchandise. And I wanted to definitely do summer because summer is coming very, very soon. I cannot believe that June is so soon. So I wanted to do like that beachy theme. So I had all that planned out before I started like cleaning and dusting everything, which you guys will see in that video here coming soon. So after that, Especially for this live stream, I had to get all of my like Lilo and Stitch, Moana, Alani items. I had to get them all together so then I could uh, easily put them up here. But normally I have like all my bins out scattered all over my room just like digging for the different items that I'd like to use. So sometimes I have it planned out of what goes on what shelf. But the shelf behind my bed right now, I don't know what to put on it. So that one definitely was not planned out yet. But I... I'm working on it today after this live stream. So it kind of depends. I sometimes I'll plan things out based on new items that I get. For example, the Mandalorian stuff, those are all new. So I definitely wanted to have those out to be able to show you guys. So yes, it's planned out sometimes. <laughs> Like, I planned out this whole side of my room and I totally forgot about the shelf behind my bed. So. Uh, yes. <laughs> uh, let's see. Um, 
Someone said, can I do a video where I design my own popcorn bucket? So I thought actually about doing that in an upcoming live stream. If you guys are interested in that, I'm trying to figure out what to do next week because I did say that I would go back to talking about the fifth park, third park kind of topic. So maybe we do one more focused on merchandise and then we can do one talking about the third park at Disneyland because I know a lot of you guys like that live stream and I love getting just to like be creative and like share ideas going along with that. So if you guys would like to see either of those live streams, throw them in the chat and we can um, decide our ones for like the next couple weeks here. Now before... I put these next items in. I'm going to show you them. So here we have the Alani exclusive wishables. So here we have the Mickey Mouse one and these are both visible ones and he's just there with his fun little Hawaiian outfit. I love, I love the little flip-flops. So adorable and we also have here the Minnie Mouse one too. <laughs> the cutesy little flip-flops and all the adorable little flowers. So this is definitely like Hawaii themed and looking at it, I always need to like step back and look at it because sometimes it just doesn't look right. I really don't think that this bandana is working for this display so I'm not going to use that for this display. Maybe I'll be able to put it over there somewhere for all of the summer stuff. So... Um, yes, I did save the live stream for the fifth park. That was two live streams ago that I did, but I do have a live stream playlist on my channel if you guys like to go through and watch those as well. But yes, that was like a very, very fun live stream. I made a whole concept art to go along with it. So yeah, I'd really appreciate it if you check that out. Um, someone asked, when was the last time I bought Disney stuff? So, on Thursday, <laughs> they released some new pins. So, whenever that pin comes, I will definitely do a video on that. So, that was the last time on Thursday. <laughs> and it's Saturday. So, this is, this is the collector life behind the scenes. <laughs> so, I need to find a place for these wishables. I, mm, I don't know. I always get stuck at some point because I just don't know what to do. So that's where just the place it, see how you like it, move it around, move it here. I like that. Okay. Favorite Star Wars character? I love the droids. Um, for the newer movies, probably Kylo Ren and Babu Frick. For the original movies, R2-D2 was always, like, my absolute favorite. So I definitely like the little droids and things. And Luke Skywalker and, like, those people. Oh, this is a good question. What is your favorite candy to get at Walt Disney World? I really love, there are these lollipops and they come in like a little bunch, like it looks like a little thing of flowers almost, but they are Mickey head shaped and they're just like different like fruit flavors and they're like clear kind of. Oh, so good. I literally buy them every single time we go. The other candy that I really, really like is the Enjoy Life chocolate bars. Now I saw them at Disneyland on Main Street and I got some, but at Disney World I couldn't find them in the parks. They have only been in the resorts, which is fine because I can still find them. But I was, I got kind of like scared at first they weren't going to have them anymore. But definitely those two are so good. And just like the rainbow lollipops are good too. Uh, I can't like do like the bakery like candy stuff like that they make there because of allergies. So like the prepackaged stuff I can do. Someone said, do I like Oswald the Lucky Rabbit? Yes. And someone also asked if I got the Country Bear Jamboree wishables. I did not. I'm not a huge fan of Country Bear Jamboree, so I did not get the wishables. This time, I thought about it, but I just, I, I decided to wait. Someone has said, 
Um, have I been working on more art? Yes, I actually finished my whole portfolio for the uh, video that I showed you guys a while ago, like half of it. So I'm planning to do a video here this summer showing you guys the rest of the portfolio. Someone says, what am I allergic to? Peanuts and tree nuts. And I actually did an allergy, like, Disney video on my channel. I loved making that. I loved getting to share my knowledge of that because I know, like, traveling places, sometimes it can be, like, kind of, like, scary or, like, worries about, like, going there and wondering, like, what can I have? What is it like? How does Disney accommodate to allergies? So I did a whole video covering all of that at both Disneyland and Disney World. And I'd really appreciate it if you guys go check that out as well, because I just, I feel like it's a very, very helpful video that I know, that I know a lot of people would benefit from. And um, it was just a lot of fun to make. So as I go to the Disney parks, I try to show the allergy menus as I get them and things like that. So I have those kind of included in my park vlogs also. Um, someone said, did they, announce when the Disney stores are going to open, like, at malls and stuff. As of right now, no. Hopefully soon, because I'd love to go and get the Minnie Mouse, the main attraction stuff, because the website just hasn't been able to handle it the past few times. Um, favorite Disney princess, Rapunzel, and then Ariel, and then uh, Tiana. In that, I think in that order, yeah, yes, yes, okay. So now for the little wishables, little cutesy little wishables. I'm gonna put them right front and center because they're just, they're, they just, they look like they're enjoying summer a lot. Oh, I just knocked stuff over, oh, okay. So now here we have some Tsum Tsums, and I'm going to be doing a Tsum Tsum collection this summer. Um, soon, I don't want to, I don't want to promise soon, but this summer I will be doing a whole Tsum Tsum collection again. And these ones I'm going to be using for the display are these little Hawaii looking ones. They have Stitch Mickey and Minnie, so I can do a little three stack of them somewhere. <laughs> I don't know yet. <laughs> Let's see, are they, okay, move the pictures in the back again. Alrighty. Gotta scroll back for a second. Someone says, what is my favorite Disney character in my, like, Hawaii theme? I really, I've just been, like, feeling Lilo and Stitch recently, so I feel like I want to say Stitch for that one. But if you guys missed last week's live stream, I talked about underrated Disney movies, so I feel like Moana is definitely one I love, like, the whole Hawaii theme there around it. But I also really enjoy seeing Mickey and Minnie in their different outfits, I think that's just super cute seeing them all in their different outfits. So we also have some of these little keychains. We have a little Olu and a little Duffy one, but I don't think they're going to fit in this display. So I think I'm going to have to put them on a like smaller shelf somewhere in my room as well. So we're gonna, just going to set those off to the side here. And we're going to start to bring in some of the other, like, smaller items to help fill in here around the bigger items that I have. So I also have here this Tokyo Disney little candy case stitch. So cute. So adorable. I'm hoping here to find a spot for it. Uh, oh, no. Alrighty. Hmm. I also have some Vinylmations, which 
I love vinyl nations, so I have this Lilo and this little stitch. These came in like a little two pack, and they're wearing their Hawaii beach attire. Super, super cute. They're a great, great size. So I'm definitely going to put them in here. Hopefully. We may have to like rearrange all this again. <laughs> this is this is why I like uh it takes me so long. I can't I don't know. I don't know. Okay. There's a lot of as I mentioned rearranging that happens. Hum, hum, hum. Someone asked, favorite items in my collection? I love, in no particular order, popcorn buckets, pins, Funko Pops, and like just unique items. Like just international items, like some of the to like the Tokyo Disney merchandise. I just think it's so cute, so unique, just very very special. Like there's just I like a lot of like the little things. So I'd say those are like my top couple things. Someone said, "Have it, have I ever read Harry Potter? And do I like it? I have not read it, and I do not like it." Alrighty, so I think Shelly Mae is going to have to go on a different shelf too. I'm going to have to rearrange all my other shelves now. <laughs> I have some stitch other little figures like little dwarves. I'm going to try to fit in here as well. Love that. Perfect. We're getting there. <laughs> um, so someone asked where I got my ears. I got these at Disney World. I got some of the bows at Disneyland, but they are no longer available. It's very, very sad. I love them. They're very, very extra. <laughs> Alrighty. Uh, Alright. What do we have here? We have some vinyl mations, some mystery minis, some keychains. So we're filling in now, now that we actually got something that we like, which is good. Alrighty. We got it now. <laughs> Some of the other vinyl mations here that I have are this little Mickey Mouse with a surfboard. So he's got his little beach outfit on and the surfboard is Pluto and it says Hawaii on the back. This is a Disney Store Hawaii exclusive or like an Alani exclusive. I'm not sure exactly where this one was sold at, but it is a Hawaii exclusive, which is very, very neat. And then the other one here is a Minnie Mouse one. She has a like fabric-y little hula skirt there and a bunch of 
flowers. I love the colors of this one. And then for the mystery minis here, we have two different stitch ones. And these are from one of the very first mystery mini blind boxes. And I remember like going and getting these and thinking they were so neat. So there were a couple different characters. There was like Mickey, Stitch, Winnie the Pooh, Tinkerbell. There might have been another one, but the box was literally just like the list of those characters and each row had like three or four different faces for each one. So this is the Hula Stitch one. You guys can see they're literally the same exact figure just with different printed faces on them. So that's like original throwback Funko for you guys. So it's just so crazy, for example, here to see just the change in them. Here's one of the kind of newer, I mean, this came out whenever Moana came out. So kind of newer mystery minis, just the quality between the two. The details on this one are so, so insane. And you guys can see they didn't even include the pink inside of Stitch's ears because they were just so simple, so original. I just think that's so neat. Just seeing them over time, like as I've collected ones over the past, I don't even know how many years now, it's very, very cool to see. Alright, so now I'm gonna find a place for these two little guys. I have some of the poster tack underneath them because they always fall over. <laughs> so that's another fun collector tip. Here I also have some stitch figural key rings. And I don't think they're gonna be able to fit into this display but I will still show them anyway. So here we have Stitch with the red sunglasses, Elvis Stitch, and Classic Stitch. And I'm actually going to be posting a blind bag video tomorrow. Fun little throwback. I have not done a blind bag video in so, so long. So that will be posted tomorrow. I found a bunch of cool new blind bags and the figural key rings was one of them. It was not one of these stitch ones, but it was a very cool Pixar set. So I'm very excited for you guys to see that video. Maybe get back into some of the blind bag videos and some of like the toy hunt videos hopefully here soon as well. Alrighty, so since these guys probably won't fit, we're going to add some of our last little things. So Lastly here, I will slide in some of like the more flat things like this little fun, like a Lonnie little gift card and some of these little buttons. I just like to hang on to these because they're good to just like lay in display, just help fill in a little bit. This is a very blue shelf. I wish you guys could see it like from this angle because it's just all blue <laughs> because there's so much stitch inside of it. So the other summary shelves that I'm going to have here in my room that you guys will get to see in the room tour is Moana and some more Alani. It looks like we have left. And I think that will be that will be the display. That will be, that will be it, I think. Alrighty, so <laughs> now the, the last thing that I do here is add all of these adorable little Mickey Mouse confettis. Now they don't do this at Disney World anymore, but 
years ago. I don't even know what year it was. From one of the parades, they actually like shot out at the end all of these fun little colorful Mickey confettis. So I picked up as many as I could and I've saved them ever since and I put them on the bottom of my displays. Now, since they do like they don't do that anymore, and if you're also looking to do something like that with your display, I think it'd be really cool to get some colored paper or like some paper with like some fun prints and maybe get like a little Mickey Mouse hole punch and make your own little confetti or like cut it out with different things or print out little like pictures of confetti and be able to cut that and be able to like lay that all over that would be my recommendation for that because I know some people have asked me like how they could get it I don't know if like they sell like Mickey confetti on Amazon or like with party stuff that you could get to also do something very similar so since there is a lot of blue in here I think I'm going to do the different shades of like yellow and orange to help make it like sand like on the bottom now for this little mermaid shelf i did like all blue on like this bottom layer that way it looked like the ocean so i try to have a whole like storyline theme going on with these that continue throughout the entire display and then you guys probably won't be able to see too too well but here on top of this clear box with Ursula on top of it, I did a bunch of purples, kind of being like dark, like villain-like look thing. <laughs> so I'm going to put all of these little gold confettis in here for sand. And then that will be our display. So while I finish this up, if you guys have any other collector questions regarding my collection or any tips for like displaying a particular item, just throw them in the live chat here and I will answer those before we wrap this up. All right, I think we did it. <laughs> I don't know if it's my favorite shelf, but just with the size of like the items that I have, there's just a lot of like smaller items. So it's really hard to make like a bigger display for this, but I think it actually came out really, really cool. I hope you guys can like see it okay, but I will show that more in depth for the room tour, as I mentioned. So don't forget to subscribe for that as well. So here I'm gonna go through the last few questions and then we will call it a Saturday. <laughs> so let's see. So someone asked, where does the character warehouse get their stuff? So the character warehouse is in Orlando. There are three of them in Orlando, Florida, and they get their items from Disney World, like once events end. So for example, they probably now, even though they're closed, normally during this time, they would get the like shipment of all of the 2019 Christmas stuff and just after like different festivals at Epcot end they will kind of get whatever wasn't sold there at the discounted price so it really just depends items that just haven't been doing so well they'll do there just to help get rid of them or items from the different festivals or holidays that are now over you can go and get them there and I have done videos on those if you guys like to see what I'm talking about or what the character warehouse is so something I'm very interested to see is once they announce that that will be opening, are they going to have all of the flower and garden merchandise from Walt Disney World since flower and, garden, flower and Garden really only happened for like five days this year? And 
from what I've seen, Flower and Garden is not going to resume once the parks reopen because they have removed the topiaries from Epcot. So I feel like we're going to see a lot of this Flower and Garden stuff on sale, uh, especially at the warehouse as well. Uh, just very, very interested to see what's all at the warehouse. And even the 2020 merchandise, I don't know how, how Disney's going to be able to sell it all. <laughs> because, like, no one's had 20, like, trips in 2020. So I don't know what they're going to do with all of the dated merchandise and things like that. It's just so, like, so crazy to think about. There's just so many questions and things to go along with that. And there was, I really liked the 2020 design for this year. And... I, if you guys did not know, I had a trip planned, and I was hoping to, like, get some of that stuff. So, uh, hopefully, I don't know, like, they open back up so they can sell some of their 2020 merch. Someone said, would I ever change the layout of my room? I can't change the layout of my room. So, my cor this is the only corner that this desk can go, because it's, like, a corner desk. All of the other corners of my room have doors or windows, so I can't rearrange the room. Oh, thank you guys so much. You guys really like the display. Thank you. Um, let's see. So someone said they are working on their Star Wars collection right now. That is awesome. Happy collecting. And they asked, do I catalog my collection, like keep track of everything? How do I keep track of everything? So I did show in this upcoming video how I write down all of my Funko Pops, how I keep track of all my Funko Pops. But if you're just starting a collection, if you have like a smaller collection, I originally started writing them down in a notebook. I had this whole notebook like, dedicated to all of this stuff, and I would write down in number order, like, the Funko Pop number on the boxes and their name and their rarity next to them. So I just like to keep track of that. That way I can always just take a picture of it or, like, take the little book to the store and be like, oh, I have this number, I have this, this character or whatever, so it's just easier to keep track of them that way. And also in that book, I cut the backs off of the mystery mini boxes and I taped them in there so I could like cross them off as I get them. That way, again, it's easier to keep track of them. Say you go like somewhere and you like forget which ones you have of that set or something, then it's easier to see them. So that is something that I would highly recommend doing. I just love doing that from the start. I love just being able like, to organize all the stuff like that and just it's a better way to keep track of things. Um, someone said, is that a Buzz Lightyear fig pin? Yes, I have all my fig pins here on this shelf. And I did order the Star Wars one that was released on May the 4th. So I will probably be showing that to you guys in a video soon. That was pre-order and it's supposed to ship out in June. So I will definitely show that to you guys whenever I get it. Someone said um, to go along with the, like, how to keep track of the collection. They said they use Excel to keep track of the value. So I don't really do that, like, in um, the notebooks and stuff that I have. I normally just see the value through the Funko apps, which I would highly recommend because you can see what their trending value is, and that, like, changes all the time. And I know Figpin, you can keep track of your collection on their app, too. So I think that's really cool how you can do that. And I wish more of the different collections like collectible like companies and stuff would also do that because I just think it'd be really cool to just be able to have like your whole collection like on your phone and just be able to see it that way if you are out somewhere on vacation you can't remember that exact figure that you had or if you have it or not then you can just check there and see it Alrighty, so we are at 50 minutes so I think we are going to wrap it up here. That way some people can re-watch this live stream if they would like to. So I hope that this video was helpful. Again, I have more collection cleaning videos, tip videos all linked down below 
in the description of this live stream that I'd really appreciate it if you guys go and check those out here after this live stream because I probably answered a lot of your questions you may be thinking kind of regarding how to create a display and different things like that. Oh, thank you so much. Yes, I hope you guys have a wonderful holiday weekend as well as summer approaches. I hope it is nice outside for you guys and you guys can enjoy the outside, the, the outdoors, the sunshine, hopefully. Um, I hope you guys all have a wonderful day. You know, stay healthy, wash your hands, do all those things. And I will see you guys here next week with a bunch of fun videos. As I said, the room tour, the blind bag videos, there's a lot of fun stuff here coming up. And now that it's almost summer, I'm excited to make more fun videos for you. So thank you all so much for tuning in here to this live stream. I really, really appreciate it. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day. And remember to do what you love and do what makes you happy. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye, guys.